Hello everyone, my name is Anne and today I am going to talk about Combivin which is the combination of iprotropium and albuterol. A little bit about patient counseling points. Combivin is used to open the airways in patients with lung disease such as COPD where spasm may cause breathing problems. Combivin is taken by oral inhalation as directed by providers. Prior to the first use, Combivin cartridge is inserted into the inhaler and the unit is primed. When using the unit for the first time, patients are to actuate the inhaler toward the ground until an aerosol cloud is visible and then repeat the process three more times. If not used for more than three days, patients are to actuate the inhaler once to prepare the inhaler for use. About Combivin, it is the combination of two different drug classes, anticholinergic agent, which is iprotropium, and beta-2 agonist, which is albuterol. It is indicated in COPD patients who are currently on a regular bronchodilator who continue to have bronchospasm and require a second bronchodilator. It reduces the symptoms and prevents COPD exacerbations. It also is indicated for asthma patients. It is used to manage moderate to severe acute asthma exacerbations and reduce the risk of hospitalization and improve in lung function. Next is the mechanism of action of Comivin. So is it is included con consists of two drugs, iprotropium and albuterol. Iprotropium works by blocking the action of acetylcholine at parasympathetic sites in bronchial smooth muscle, causing bronchodilations. And for albuterol, it relaxes bronchial smooth muscle by action on the beta-2 receptors. For dosage and formulations, combivins come with two different formulations, nebulization solution and soft mist inhaler. In COPD patients, the dose is one vial every one hour up to three doses, then every two to four hours as needed. In asthma patients, dose will be one vial every 20 minutes for three doses, then as needed with the nebulization solution. Uh, with soft mist inhaler in COPD patients, the dose will be one inhalation every four to six hours as needed, maximum of six inhalations a day. In asthma patients, the dose will be four to eight inhalations every 20 minutes for three doses, and then as needed for up to three hours. For dose adjustment, there is no renal and hepatic dose adjustment necessary in adult and pediatric patients. Common adverse effects when patients are on Combivin. They are nasal pharyngitis, bronchitis, upper respiratory tract infection, pharyngitis, difficult urination, vision changes. Uh, some monitoring parameter, uh, we measure the FEV1 peak flow and other pulmonary function tests. We also measure blood pressure, heart rate, uh, CNS stimula stimulation, serum glucose, serum potassium, size and symptoms of glaucoma, hypersensitivity reactions, urinary retention, and last but not least, which is shortness of breath. And that's it for my presentation.
Thank you.